to Professor Prithijit Guho. <coughs> he was our teacher and has retired in, uh, I think, 2016. Right, Prithijit? Hi, yes, yes. He has retired uh, in 2016, but he's still with us at present. He is uh, working as a, what do you call, uh, our advisor to the placement cell. Basically, basically, I am from ceramic discipline, but I am looking after placement also. He will be looking after your placement. So, I request Prithish, Prithish Guha to start his lecture. Sir, please start, Kurun. Uh -huh. Okay, good morning, students. Can you hear me? Yes, yeah. sir. Okay. So, <clears throat> uh, I am Prithijit Guho. I am taking care of your training and placement activities of students. So, I am here since 2000, year 2000. So, uh, uh, the few things, uh, the few things to to inform you, just just a minute. Hmm. Uh, actually, we have three branches: ceramics, computer science, and IT. And the and placement scenario in these two three uh, two disciplines, computer science and IT are more or less similar, same. And but the placement scenario in ceramics and computer vision are entirely different. The ceramic discipline is very small community and uh, it is more or less monopolistic market because not too many institutes offering ceramic uh, education. So you have less competition. Those who are from ceramic discipline, we have to face less competition. But for ITCSE student, they are like me too. I am also there. There are several thousands of college all over India. Everyone, IT and CS is most common branches in all colleges. So they have to face a severe competition. So they have to prepare themselves more carefully to get in a job. But for, for ceramic student, Comparatively, it is easier as it is a very small market and competitors are less. So um, for, for computer and IT students, I would request from the very beginning, you prepare yourself well uh, so that you can uh, compete in the job market. Now, uh, uh, I try my level best to get you uh, a job, but my role is somewhere like football referee. I can uh, uh, get you a penalty or a free kick, but final goal, you have to make the kick and uh, get the goal. So uh, my role will be like referee. I will create opportunity for you, but finally you have to um, um, make it happen. So I will try my level where that much I can assure you. Now there is a small presentation uh, I'll, I would like to share you for, um, uh, for your benefit. Can, is it visible? Is it visible? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Then I'll continue. Just a minute. The first thing to get a job, you have to search for the what are the present opportunity available for you in the market. For that, there are several job sites like Freshers World, Nokri.com, LinkedIn, Times Job, Monster India, Glassdoor, all these things. These are most common uh, job sites where you will find job for all levels, for freshers, 
seniors and experienced people also. So you, your first job is to look for, search for the suitable job which suits you. So these are the common sites where you will get all job. Am I, am I audible? Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, you are audible. Okay. The first thing to uh, uh, what you have to do to prepare an attractive CV. Okay. So there are most common 10 points which you have to keep in mind while preparing your CV. The, the points are so <clears throat> as, I, as I, I, I read it, don't start your job search without giving the due thought to your resume as a strong resume does not does wonders for your chances for making it to the interview stage. Additionally, it can work wonder for the your job search in general. Here, how to make sure your ends up in the previous track. So always try to be very cheap. It, it should not be too long. Then it, uh, people will lose interest. Then uh, don't include this, all these bullshit things like age, religion, sex. These are not essential. You need not have to mention all these things. <clears throat> the, the, uh, start your resume with verbs. Uh, <clears throat> for career history, you might have worked in several companies if you are experienced. You, so you have to start with the most current one. What is the latest one? You have to start then backward, the, the previous one chronologically <clears throat> and always use bullet points for whatever your achievement and response to whatever you had in your account. So use bullet points so that it becomes easier for the viewer to judge you. <clears throat> Similarly, for educational institute and your company's qualification, uh, put it in chronological order. That means the latest one first, then uh, gradually the older one. So <clears throat> include the computer skill, whatever your computer skill have, language skill have, and any relevant team, if you have any additional training other than normal things, include all these things, all these things in, in your CV. Then uh, <clears throat> the hobbies and all these things, these are not so important, so make it as short as possible. Achha. Reference until and unless someone is asking for it, don't you need not have to put reference. And finally, whatever you have written, just before placing it, check it for the typographical error or any mistake you have done. So before putting it, please check it thoroughly. Achha. Now for the freshers, the normal interview process starts with GD. GD is the most common uh, tool to reduce the number of applicants. Suppose there are 100 candidates, so their requirement may be three or four. So what to do? They will reduce the number of students by GD. They will form a group of eight, 10, 15 people. Then they will, uh, from that, uh, depending on communication skill and other things, they will shortlist the candidate for the interview. During GD, you have to be well prepared. So before starting, the, if you have any queries to the interviewer, please ask him beforehand so that any clarification you want, ask him before starting the GD. And always carry a pen and paper to note down the points. What are the other people are saying to note, note it down? Please note, continuously note it down. And you will get an extra point, some extra point if you can initiate the uh, um, GD. Similarly, who will conclude the GD, he also will get some extra point. So always try to initiate the GD. <clears throat> and when while you are talking, don't look at other places. Just look at the pro pro person with whom you are talking. Make eye, uh, eye contact. Then. Don't talk in between, like, don't make it fish market. Don't talk while some, like ABP Ananda discussion, don't make too many, too many noise when others are talking. So be a good listener in the group discussion. So listen fast, then comment. Don't talk in between when someone else is talking. 
<clears throat> and whatever you want to do, speak speak decently and in loud voice okay and maintain decorum what decorum what i said like don't make it like abp anando discussion like like that okay acha so for preparing interview you, you have to be well prepared before you appear, appearing in the interview to, to first thing you have to know the company for which you are appearing the previous day you have to go to their website know about the company thoroughly what they are doing what is their business what is their turnover who is the chief executive after what type of what are the other sister company the company the, this research you have to do one day in advance from their website so know about the company and if you don't know any answer just admit that i don't know this one and whatever answer you give you give it clearly and directly to the point hmm. and never argue with the interviewers no no sir it cannot be like this you know it should be what i think it should be like that. don't argue whatever interviewer is, you have to accept yes 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 sir so don't argue argue with the interviewer <clears throat> acha if you have any question to be asked to the interviewer you have to be well prepared before um, uh, interview so whatever your question to be be prepared for that and uh, address the interviewer politely and whatever you are saying be said confidently so these are the few points while appearing in interview keep in mind and uh, i wish best wishes in coming days for uh, any interview but what i can assure you i will try my level best to uh, help you in getting a job like a referee in football to ball match so uh, and what i said for ceramic definitely it is little easier job because it is a smaller market and more or less mono, uh, monopoly market but for itcs student you have you have to compete severely with other other uh, engineering colleges there are several thousand engineering colleges and itc is the most common branches so for itcs opportunity you have to be very very competitive and well prepared before appearing in interview so be confident and uh, well prepared appearing in interview i wish best wishes to both you ceramic and it students and assure once again that i will provide my best effort and uh, will help you to get a job thank you yes, sir thank you for the uh, lecture uh, lecture which you have given i think the students have uh, what you call heard you properly and they are clear about it students if you have any question you can ask professor guho yes If you have any queries, you can ask. <coughs> regarding this placement, ba oni ja ja bollen, tomra ona ke jiges korte paro. He is very cordial person and he'll answer you. Na hale amre gye jabo, na hile porat tate gye jabo. Jodi tomare kono prosno na thake, amre gye jabo thale. Sir, bolchi. Apni bollen je interview shomai pen and paper rakhe. प्रश्नोटर जी Sir, is there any tentative placement percentage? See, as per our previous record, I am here since two thousand year two thousand. So so far, our previous record is concerned. Ceramic students so far used to get hundred percent placement, but 
for ITCG, I never could exceed more than 60%. So it restricts within 50, 60%. So as, as you know, as I already explained, it is a very competitive market and uh, you have to struggle for to get a job. For ceramic student, it comparatively as it is a monopolistic market, they get it very easy. So, and the normal segment where the ceramic student get placed are refractory, glass, cement, white wash, sanitary wash, electronic industry like this. There are some other sections also. Uh, some government sector also they get CSIR, the defense, all, all these sec sec section, they get jobs. So comparatively for ceramic student, it is easier, but for ITCS student, you have to compete with uh, several thousand colleges all over India. So uh, your job is a little bit task, a um, little bit hard. Any more yes. questions from any to other students? Uh, good morning, sir. I'm from Jaiji from IT department. Hmm. So I have a question that uh, what type, which companies uh, who come on on, cam on campus? Can you tell us? See, no, IT on, uh, as uh, IT people generally recruit in bulk, okay, few hundred, few thousand like that. So uh, for that, it is most of most of the time what is happen. It is either it is a full campus or it is directly. You, they will provide link. You will go and join directly. College has no role to play over there. Earlier, it used to the company used to come in the for last two years. The pattern has changed. Now it is open. They, they will provide open link. Then you have to register yourself. Then uh, you will get the interview. Call. From the company earlier they used to come individual colleges but for the last two years the entire pattern has changed very few until analysis is very grade one colleges like jadapur b college or last thing the, the normal colleges um, they are hardly they come directly to campus so it is they will provide an open link you will register yourself and you will get the opportunity to for placement but for ceramic definitely yes they ceramic student they come to campus but ITCS student, um, it is very rare for our, but all students will get several opportunities that much I can assure you. ITCS student, you will get so many opportunities, don't worry. Okay, sir. thank you. Any more questions? I suggest when you join after your third, uh, third year, you keep in touch with Professor Guho because he'll be providing you all the informations. Any more question? Are Karol ki ju jigesh ko ar ache? Jodhi na thakye taale amra second speaker Sri Ranjan Kumar Bormoner dike chole yabo. Are ke ho ki ju bolar ache? আমি আবারো বেরিয়ে যাওয়ার আগে আরেকবার আশীর্বাদ করে দিতে চাই তোমরা নিশ্চিন্ত থাকো আমি আমার বেস্টটা দিতে চেষ্টা করব যাতে তোমরা ইউ গেট বেস্ট ঠিক আছে স্যার কিন্তু যেটা বলেছেন সেটা কিন্তু উনি করেন উনি মন প্রাণ দিয়ে সারা দিন তোমাদের মানে চাকরির জন্যই উনি চেষ্টা করে যান ইউ উইল অলওয়েজ ফাইন্ড হিম বিজি ইন দা ফার্স্ট ফ্লোর হি সিটস ইন দা ফার্স্ট ফ্লোর নেক্সট টু অ্যাডমিশন কার you will always find him in our college and he is always busy with your uh, jobs jobs I mean how to provide jobs to you that is assured sir sir thank you sir welcome thank you sir uh, well, you are most welcome sir sir apne to screen sharing to bondho kore deben hmm now let ranjan babu screen sharing ta korte parben na Ah, sir, thank you, sir. Uh, dear students, now next we'll have Mr. Ranjan Kumar Bormon, Bioinformatics Researcher, Division of Virology, ICMR, NICD, Kolkata. His topic of lecture will be Introduction to of Machine Learning and its Application in Biology. And our head of the Department of CSC, Professor Kalpana Shaharai has joined. She will introduce you to Mr. Ranjan Kumar Bormon. Kalpanadi, please. Okay. As a head of the Department of Computer Science and Engineering in GCCT, 
it's my great pleasure to introduce my ex student who has passed 2009 ranjan kumar bormon is born and brought up in a village in purbo medinipur west bengal namely bagmari he completed his secondary and higher secondary education in the same village in the year 2009 he graduated from our college with a four year bachelor's degree in csc during this period he got fascinated by computational techniques and programming language and decided to continue his higher study in the same field in the meantime he received national fellowship based on the gate exam 2009 and got an opportunity to pursue his masters degree in csc from the university of polandi in this years he developed a keen interest in the application of computational techniques in the field of biology after completion of his masters degree in the year 2011 he got a job offer as a software trainee from the trek bean technologies private limited bangalore india at that time he joined there and keep looking for an opportunity in the research field he got a chance to join as a research ass assistant had a position from biomedical informatics center bic of the icmr national institute of cholera and enteric disease nice year 2013 he worked as ad from 2013 to 2018 five years and icmr sra from 2018 to 2022 years in the same institute afterward he worked as bioinformatics scientist at tata medical center kolkata for one year currently he is working as bioinformatics researcher at the division of virology icmr nice kolkata his research interests focuses on the application of machine learning techniques mlt in the field of biology consequently he applied supervised mlt techniques to predict viral host interspecies interopathogen interspecies protein protein interaction ppis small non coding rnas srnas in bacteria and identify infectious disease associated genes he worked also worked on the genomic characterization of acute myeloid leukemia aml cancer patient he developed pipeline to analyze next generation sequencing ns ngs data currently he is working on the phase therapy as an alternative to antibiotics especially where anti microbial resistance amr is a problem he has published several research papers in esteemed national and international journals as a first author now he is waiting for his phd thesis submission at the department of csc jadavpur university under the guidance of professor ujjal mulli dr uh, anirban mukhopadhyay okay now i will ask ranjan to deliver his speech okay am i audible to everyone hello yes you are audible okay my screen is visible my presentation screen is visible yes, to yes, everyone yes 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 okay okay thank you ma'am for this kind introductions uh, and i would like to thank the organizing committee for the invitations so good afternoon everyone and uh, today i will be presenting a topic uh, entitled introductions of machine learning and its application in biology so this presentation contain eight part in first part i will generally introduce a machine learning technique and then i will discuss about the general application of machine learning in the healthcare then i will discuss the simple example of machine learning and then i will discuss machine learning for the for my research and after what i will discuss ongoing ai artificial intelligence and machine learning research going on and 
uh, after what i can i will discuss career path in machine learning and finally i will discuss future of artificial intelligence and machine learning researchers and some question and answer okay <clears throat> i think all of you know that human are very intelligent and they can learn from his past past experience in order to tackle some new situation came into their picture came into their life so human are very intelligent on the other hand the machine are very good at computing but they are not that much intelligent so in artificial intelligence we will try to import some intelligence to the machine so that machine can act smartly than human or efficiently than human so in machine learning also we will train a machine <coughs> in order to predict some new instant came into the picture so i will give you a simple example about this suppose uh, sam, sam listen some song so based on the song song's tempo and intensity suppose you can see in the two dimensional table where x axis denoted the tempo and y axis denoted the intensity so so the tempo is uh, from relaxed to fast and the intensity from light to so soaring so suppose uh, here you can see that the green are the liked song by the sam and red are the disliked song by the sam so suppose a new song so i can see okay suppose a new song came into the picture hello slide is movable okay okay suppose a new song listened by sam recently the song a am i audible to everyone hello yeah yes sir, yes, sir. Yes, okay yes, okay okay so suppose a new song listened by the sam recently the song a which is first in tempo and soaring intensity so in this case we can simply classify this song as a like because it is first in tempo and soaring in intensity so another case suppose song uh, sam listen a song b which is medium tempo and medium intensity so neither first or neither relaxed or neither light or neither soaring so in this case machine learning came into this picture so so in this case if you can draw a circle around b so we can find that the four like song by the sam are closely associated to b and one dislike song is closely associated to b so this is a simple machine learning technique called k nearest neighbor algorithm so so for the majority of voting we can say that song b belongs to the like group so this is a simple example of machine learning so machine learning can be uh, classified as a three different group first one is supervised learning and second one is unsupervised learning and third one is reinforcement learning in supervised learning we already know the correct output look like that means we know the correct label and and so based on some features so we can predict the level of our instance so for example suppose we have three coin uh, which is 1 rupees which weight is 3 grams 1 euro which weight is 7 grams and 1 dirham which weight is 4 grams so suppose a new coin came into this picture so which weight is 3 grams so machine can definitely predict as a 1 rupees coin so this is a supervised machine learning technique that means so we learn already know about their level for the unsupervised learning so we don't know about the what the actual output look like so we have to find some pattern in order to cl clustering them so suppose we have a list of uh, cricket player name and, and their score and number of wicket they have taken we have this data so if we can fit this data into a two dimensional plot where x denoted the x axis denoted the wickets and y axis denoted the runs so from this data point we definitely find 
a two distinct cluster which is for batsmen which are generally score more run and one, another one is for bowler which is generally taking more wicket so 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 point to be noted that so unsupervised learning we don't know about when we have started our analysis we don't know about the label data but based on some features we have we have identified two different cluster so suppose a new cricket player names and their score and wicket we can know so we can cl classify them any of this group so based on their uh, closeness so and next one is the reinforcement learning or reward based learning in reward based learning suppose we provide a dog image to a machine learning technique to predict what is so the machine unfortunately predict wrongly as a cat so we'll give a negative feedback to the machine learning technique so machine learning technique automatically learned from his mistake and suppose a new dog pictures came into uh, uh, we will supply to the machine learning technique and in this case uh, the technique will definitely predict as a dog so he can learn from his mistake also and therefore in generally machine learning model we will build a prediction model based on the some input and and the features input instance and the features uh, and if suppose a new instance came into this picture based on these features the machine learning algorithm predict output for this uh, new instance and if the output is correct we will go go forward otherwise we can also feedback some negative to the machine learning technique so i have a small quiz uh, for the student suppose scenario one so you are uploading some picture uh, uh, picture with your friend so facebook uh, suggesting some friend's name in your picture. So, which type of machine learning will be fit for this? Hello, student, can you hear me? Scenario one. Ah, scenario one. Yeah. Which type of machine learning can be used? I have already told this in my previous presentation. Yeah. Reinforcement. Why reinforcement learning? Why? Okay, so I will answer this. So it will use a supervised learning technique. Basically, the what will do in Facebook is based on the previous picture of your friend, they will apply some machine learning and image processing algorithm and uh, suggest some exact name of your friend. So it is a supervised machine learning technique. So in this case, we can use as a supervised machine learning technique. And another case scenario two, you can already, I think you already have a control. So Netflix also recommended some movie for your past choice. So, so what type of machine learning technique will be fit for this? Unsupervised. Unsupervised. Uh, why unsupervised? That means we they know what you the choice like. Suppose you are in college life, so mostly you are like the movie like romantic or comedy movie, and some student, extreme student, they will like thriller movie. So basically, they have already uh, you don't know, but they will track your data. So which type of movie you mostly watch so based on their your movie choice they will uh, they will suggest some movie for you so it is also a supervised technique okay got it sir a amount of question as a apple graphic ethical in j unsupervised technique on a baller and batsman i'm at a particular player care you can insert cool machine learning a was she star performance report ভিত্তি করে বলল যে সে বলারের দিকে নাকি ব্যাটসম্যানের দিকে এটার ক্ষেত্রে তো স্যার একটা জাস্ট মুভির নাম ওখানে প্রোভাইড করছে এবার সে আমাকে বলছে যে আমার ইন্টারেস্টটা থ্রিলারের দিকে নাকি না না মুভির নাম নয় নেটফ্লিক্স এর ক্ষেত্রে কি হয় তুমি তো অলরেডি কিছু মুভি দেখেছো তারপরে তোমার সাজেশন আসে अदरवाइज তো এমনি তো র‍্যান্ডম কিছু সাজেশন আসবে তো অলরেডি তুমি যদি কিছু মুভি যদি তুমি যদি ধরো রোমান্টিক মুভি দেখতে থাকো সারাক্ষণ তুমি হয়তো 5 আউট অফ 3 টাইম রোমান্টিক মুভি দেখছো 
তাহলে তোমাকে কিছু রোমান্টিক মুভি সাজেশন দেবে বা কোন একটা পার্টিকুলার অ্যাক্টর বা অ্যাক্ট্রেস এর মুভি তুমি বেশি প্রেফার করছো বা ওয়েব সিরিজ তো সেটাই সেভাবে রেকমেন্ডেড করে মানে তোমার পাস ডেটাটাও ওদের কাছে আছে ঠিক আছে হ্যাঁ ঠিক আছে তো পাস ডেটাটা দেখে তোমার বেসিক্যালি নতুন যেটা মুভি আসলো সেটাকে ওরা ক্লাসিফাই করবে আর কি মেজরিটি ভোটিং মানে যেহেতু মেজরিটি ভোটিং এখানে তুমি বলতে পারো কারণ কারণ তুমি অলরেডি ওই সব ওনারের মুভি দেখছো তো অলরেডি ব্যাক এন্ডে ওরা ঠিক জানে যে তোমার কেসটা ওকে বোঝাতে পারলাম বোঝাতে পারলাম হ্যালো মানে তো আমার এখন আর কি কনফিউশনটা রয়ে যাচ্ছে যে আনসুপারভাইজটা কেন হলো না আর কি এখানে আনসুপারভাইজড হলো না কারণ এটা বেসড অন তোমার চয়েস আর এর উপরে ওরা ডিসিশনটা নিচ্ছে তোমার আগের চয়েসে মানে ওরা বেসিক্যালি মুভি রেকমেন্ড করছে তো তোমার চয়েসের উপরে তুমি অলরেডি আগে কি জানো তো অলরেডি ওরা জানে তোমার লেভেল অফ চয়েস অফ মুভি মানে তোমার অলরেডি নোন ইওর লেভেল অফ চয়েস ওকে সো বেসড অন देयर চয়েস দে উইল সাপ্লাই সাম অ্যানাদার সাজেশন মুভি ওকে ওকে সো সিনারিও Three, suppose a fraud detection transaction. So which type of machine learning can be used? Student? Supervised. No, this is case a unsupervised technique because we don't know what is the fraud transaction. Okay, so from the uh, level of the what is the Uh, for transaction so so we have to scan for the all the transaction and we can find some for for transaction so in this case so uh, supervised a uh, unsupervised machine learning will be used okay so am i clear hello yes sir okay so machine learning algorithm and technique have been developed uh, mostly in earlier to 2000s but they gained popularity last decade mainly for 2015 because most of the it giant company they have concentrated on this te technology and they have developed and provide some open source tool just like tensorflow of google so and also on the other hand the advancements of the storage and the processing power of computing has been increased very much in this day so we can use uh, lot of cluster or supercomputer for our processing and also we use cloud computing facility in order to store more data like this okay so machine learning gain a popularity nowadays so application of machine learning uh, machine learning can be used for healthcare diagnosis or prognostic sentiment and analysis in social media fraud detections in banking service and customer uh, uh, recommendation or customer preference in e-commerce business so i think you already booked a uber cab so so uber basically using a some machine learning technique in order to set a price for your travel so they basically use the condition like demand number of cars available bad weather and traffic of your locality based on this they will predict a search price for your travel so it is use the predictive model to predict where the demand will be high so now i will discuss about general application of machine learning nowadays machine learning have been used all of the field so mainly mostly used for image and speech recognition and self driving car product recommendations online fraud detections and the medical diagnosis etc so i think you have seen google map you have used your for searching some location or travel time for a route so in this case you can see that i have searched for uh, to travel from sialda railway station to netaji subhas chandra airport so the google said that it will take 36 minutes if i can take a, a cab or private car so here in some point they will also suggest some yellow color line so there may be some congestion this road you can find during your travel so they will also use the machine learning technique to reduce your uh, travel time and also reporting the exact time it will take to reach the destinations and already told you about the uber applications and some of the riding app they also use the other riding app they also use machine learning technique in order to uh, find the shortest route of the trip and and the fraud detection etc
and machine learning can be used for commercial flight to use autopilot so with the help of ai technology autopilot uh, take care of flight now as a report of new york times and the most of the pilot reported that they have doing manual flying flying of seven minutes mainly during takeoff or landing and rest of the flight is taken care by the autopilot and i think all of you during this pandemic you have used the gmail so if you can see that gmail also use some machine learning technique in order to identify your spam mail so basically they will search for some keyword like you have won five crore dollar rupees or some online consultancy online pharmacy that that type of uh, keyword they find so they can put your mail as a spam mail identify your mail as a spam mail also also gmail provide a three class for your mail first one for primary and second one for social and third one for promotion and they also define your importance of the mail and google also in gmail you can already find uh, gmail also prompt simple phrases to respond to email like thank you all right yes i am interested here you can see google prompt me as a thank you i have typed thank and they prompted you and also the day by day most of the people are dependent on the online transaction so transaction per a day will increase dramatically so in order to find for transaction from the lakhs and crore of transaction it will very manually extensive so so machine learning also help in this field in order to identify the thought transaction and also in our research field or other field so machine learning also help to detect the plagiarism of your writing so most of the university and the research institute and, and the uh, journal publishers they will check for your writing with a plagiarism and they will accept only less than 10 percent plagiarism if your writing has so in plagiarism test basically they what will do so based on your writing they will search for the all the available writing available in the uh, internet and all the databases or journal they will go through the background they will go through all the site and find it exact match your writing with the other so in this case you can find the 36 person this writing is 36 percent match with some this site and 32 percent match with from this site and 25 percent match this side so in this way we are that now the writing skill is improving the uh, nobel writing skill is improving so most of the institute and uh, university are strictly to uh, use plagiarism check so less than 10 percent plagiarism they will accept otherwise you have to modify your writing and already i have told that facebook also recommended it, your friend uh, name correctly based on his previous picture on Facebook or social media. So they will basically use some complicated image processing algorithm with the help of machine learning. They will identify your friend. And also, I think you have to know that the personal assistant like Amazon Alexa or Google Home, they also help you to setting a reminder, searching your online information, controlling light, and, and to uh, play a song, etc. So now I will discuss about application of machine learning in healthcare. So nowadays machine learning has been extensively used in the healthcare. So the uh, here you can see in the Google chat. So the rising popularity of AI is increasing day by day. So machine learning can be used for detection of heart disease. So based on the your um, based on the, your uh, ECG data, ECG image, and your clinical information. So machine learning can predict your heart disease. And also machine learning can be used to detect early stage of diabetic patients. So based on your BMI and all the other clinical information, um, based on this data, so machine learning can detect your early stage of diabetes. And also machine learning can uh, use for prediction of liver damage or liver disease. 
so based on the ct scan mri image and all the clinical informations of the patients so machine learning machine learning technique can predict your liver disease and stage of of your disease so here in the case uh, the fatty liver liver fibrosis and cirrhosis etc and nowadays most of the surgeon also use indirectly use uh, the robotic surgery technique in order to surgery uh, but it is not only uh, not fully uh, automated nowadays but next time or not there will research is going on in order to develop some automatic robot who will uh, automatically surgery 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 for patient so this is what going on and also the detections of cancer uh, we can use machine learning technique so based on your tmr data basically tmr image data and your clinical information and your genetic information machine learning can identify uh, your cancer so a study show that deep learning reduces the percentage of error for breast cancer diagnosis and machine learning can be used for the personalized treatment so previously what has happened then most of the cases suppose person a and person b have same disease so doctor will prescribe him the same medicine so nowadays this type of concept has been shifted so one size fit all concept has been shifted to the personalized medicine where the based on the patient condition his gen genetic information so doctor will giving the particular drug, drug for this patient so i have worked with the uh, project in a tata medical center so where i have developed a uh, pipeline to identify a mutations for acute myeloid leukemia patient so i will identify in my algorithm identify the mutation for particular gene and doctor see the report and after that he will decide which type of drug will be applicable for the patient so this type of personalization technique is going on in life and also machine learning can help you to drug discovery so machine learning optimize and manufacturing process of cost of drug drug discovery it will speed up the process and reduce the failure rate and nowadays the rapid growth of the electronics health record mostly the patient related data demographic data or something like that so nowadays machine learning also used for this uh, data set in order to get a, some uh, uh, in order to get some good pattern of this data in order to uh, supply some good medical facility or uh, etc and also machine learning can be used for radiology so nowadays a good uh, radio surgeon is very rare cases so so nowadays machine learning can take care of this so they will analyze a lot of uh, medical image and provide a solution and also identify detecting some ab abnormality across the body so they will analyze a lot of image of your body and they can predict uh, and they can suggest some uh, solution to the doctor and as well as well the patient also so they mostly use supervised machine learning algorithm for this field and for the i think you already know that due to the covid pandemic you already know the step of the clinical trial of the vaccine development or drug development so machine learning technique can help in this field in order to uh understand the efficacy safety of the drug or vaccine so ma machine learning significantly impact in this field also so so it is uh, clear to everyone hello hello yes sir yeah. okay yeah. okay so now we, so i will take a simple example in order to uh, describe the machine learning technique here i since you have already know the probability theory so i have taken a simple example to understand the machine learning in a layman way so i have given an example for nape base suppose we know the uh, playing status of tennis from day 1 to day 14 we know the weather and the playing status of tennis so in this table in the left table you can find that nine cases for playing tennis is yes and five cases for no so if the weather outlook is sunny and temperature is hot humidity is high and wind is weak wind speed is weak then 
uh, chances of playing tennis is no so likewise the several data we can find so based on this data for we can predict for so we know the uh, with a report of day 15 so we can predict the playing chance of tennis that day so <clears throat> yeah so suppose you can see in the uh, right hand side uh, figure mm -hmm. so out, if the outlook is sunny play is equal to yes so, so i think for uh, day nine you can find outlook is sunny and playing status is yes one case is and day 11 outlook is sunny playing status is yes so two out of nine is uh, out, outlook is sunny play is equal to yes so this type of condition probability we can say so likewise other uh, other conditional probability has been calculated by this table so suppose a new day or new instant came into the picture so we know the weather report of the day outlook is sunny temperature is cool humidity is high and wind speed is strong so based on this data we can uh, we can predict whether this day the uh, chances of playing um, tennis is yes or no so in order to compute this so first we have to compute probability of uh, sunny by yes probability of cool by yes probability of high by yes probability of strong by yes probability of play is equal to yes for the yes cases and for the no we have to calculate similarly so here you can see the probability of no is higher than the probability of yes so day 15 there will be uh, chance for uh, there is no con uh, playing chances no so understand it hello hello yes okay it is a simple example but machine learning is a uh, little bit of tough tougher okay so in my research also i have already as already ma'am told you that in my research i have extensively used machine learning technique for my research I have used machine learning technique to, in order to uh, in the field of molecular biology mainly for the infectious disease. So I think due to this pandemic and COVID-19, we already know that what is the infectious disease. So according to report of WHO, infectious disease remain concerned for all countries, especially for developing countries like us, imposing a significant burden on economic and public health. So in infectious diseases, different type of mi microorganism, virus, bacteria, protozoa, and fungi act as a pathogen for infectious diseases. So I have applied uh, uh, machine learning technique in order to identify the infectious disease associated human genes. So just like a criminal and his activity is dangerous for our society, similarly in some gene and their activities uh dangerous for our normal health so i have tried to find this type of genes in my uh, research so so in the first case if you can put a criminal uh, in the jail so we can reduce his some functionality so in this case also if you can do uh, if you can provide some drug to the human so in order to reduce the activity of this particular gene so in this case it is a binary classification or two class classification problem where i have to identify a particular gene either it is belongs to the uh, disease associated or non disease associated so for this purpose i have collected a expert curated disease associated gene from the public domain and also identify the non disease associated gene which are not associated any type of disease so i have considered as a negative data set so based on their features of the genes like sequence features structure structural features and network features we have uh, and also we have applied well-known machine learning technique like support vector machine random forest name based and deep learning technique in order to identify a new instant new gene to the any of these two classes we also validated our proposed model on on a blind data set which is not used for the building the model so in this research we mainly focus on the deep neural network since this uh, uh, deep neural network has been extensively used in the different field and got a very good result 
so in this case we have also used the deep learning technique so it is the advanced version of the neural network technique so performance measure of the machine learning technique uh, like sensitivity specificity accuracy positive prediction value matthew correlation coefficient f1 score has been computed by this equation so this equation mainly depend on the four term which are known as the two positive tp in my cases tp means infectious disease associated protein are correctly identified as a infectious disease associated protein that means two positive and false positive means non disease associated protein are incorrectly identified as a infectious disease associated protein and the case of true negative non disease associated protein are correctly identify as a non disease associated protein and for the case of false negative infectious disease associated protein are incorrectly identify as a non disease associated protein so based on this this value we can compute this type of uh, performance measure like sensitivity specificity accuracy etc so here based on the features we have uh, calculated and machine learning technique we have calculated in this case i have used deep learning uh, dnn so we have so the performance of our technique so here you can see that the network features with only nine uh, nine vector length has able to perform better than the other primary sequence features so it will uh, able to achieve accuracy of 84.43 percent with a sensitivity of 78.2 percent and specificity of 90.51 percent however we have shown uh, we have encountered that the uh, use of mixed features like the primary features and network features able to perform better than the other the primary features and structure features and network features so here you can see that most of the technique perform well among them deep learning and random forest perform better but among the deep neural network and random forest deep in order to balance performance deep learning is perform slightly better than the random forest so we have also reported the functionality of the our top predicted genes the biological process of our top predicted top predicted 100 genes so that the experimental biologist can take forward this research so they can uh, test uh, this activity or this gene in the animal model in order to reduce their expression level so what uh, we have found uh, in this research is that, is that uh, deep learning specifically designed to deal with a large data set and large set of features so it, it will perform well in uh, in the large data set or large set of features but for a small data set or small number of features so it will perform similar to the other conventional machine learning technique like random forest or sbm so i have a bangla gotha as in a gym or a kitchen mosha marte kaman dagano so basically deep learning i'm ready to do data set is for a decade the motor would be correct of hello result fine so show suggestion will be the may try to use deep learning technique will the large data set and large set of features just like image processing data or maybe the uh, lakhs and thousands of instant data so we'll just use this type of uh, deep learning for this purpose so it is a um, so most of the code i have write i try to uh, deposit it in the public domain so i have try, uh, deposited most of my code in the github repository so this is this is my github page so this is a sample of example of my coding so okay now we'll discuss about the ongoing intelligence and machine learning research so nowadays machine learning gained a lot of popularity so most of the it giant or big company uh, are investing machine learning technique uh, so so i have put some of the examples suppose a company like irobot which is from bedford massachusetts usa uh, actually what they have developed a roomba toolkit in order to clean your room so they have constantly developing their product so the the company completed first year as a purely consumer focused business in 2017 pulling uh, 883.9 million dollar in a revenue 
and the company also shipped more than 10 million rombas since 2002 I, and another company is hanson robotics which is based on from hong kong china so uh, they will try uh, they will build some robotic which have the human behavior based on the human behavior i think you already know that the name call is sophia they have developed sophia robot so so they feel that after few year uh, their robot may be replaced the tv anchor job or tv and news tv news jo job and uh, some uh, some other field also they will replace and i already told that machine learning have been extensively used in the public health domain so covera health is company it is based on from new york usa so they will utilize the patient clinical data and identify the exo exact disease for the patient so uh, so they will reduce number of misdiagnostic patients through this work so and also other company like well so this company is allow people to live better life uh, giving some medical guidance to any time point so this company from chapel hill uh, north carolina usa and another company name is path ai so this company focus main, mainly on the pathologist department so this company from boston massachusetts usa so this company developing some machine learning with the help of machine learning algorithm they have uh, and also analyze the tissue sample to make more accurate diagnostic results so their aim is not only to improve the diagnostic accuracy but also the treatment at massachusetts general hospital they collaborated with the company like nvidia to implement ai powered machine for disease detection diagnosis treatment and patient management process and i think you already know that machine learning learning has been machine learning ai has been used for the self driving car so motional is a one of the company which is based on santa monica california usa so motion is utilizing as advanced technology built on ai and machine learning to make a driverless vehicle safer reliable and more accessible and also the company uh, also the ymo is a google self driving car project this company built a variety of avs design area uh, address verification design to meet the need of the driver all over the country including individual right share driver and large trucking company and also machine learning can be used for the travel industry the app like hoopers uh, they will use machine learning technique in order to provide a low price for your flight hotel and vacation and rental etc for your booking so basically they will go through a lot of site they will produce a uh, minimum optimal result for your search uh, we up to date with up to date price so if you want to choose career path in machine learning techniques so in 2020 one the focus of digital digitalization is as strong as ever before machine learning and ai helped the it leader and global enterprise to come out of the global pa pandemic with a minimal loss so due to this technique the it giant are survived in this pandemic most of the other sector have been devastated for this pandemic like travel and hotel industry but it industry is doing very good in this pandemic because of this technology and some lot of improvement in the it field so there is a lot of increasing machine learning and data science specialist in this field so if you can choose a job like machine learning engineer so it is one of the promising job in this decade so so this type of job we have to perform design a some machine learning system and application used by the machine learning algorithm tools so for this job you have to skill require like uh, a strong fundamental knowledge of mathematics statistics or programming programming language such as python java scala or etc so mostly python or r java are mostly used the average salary package for machine learning engineer in usa is nearly 1.45 lakhs 
and the average salary package for machine learning engineer in India nearly 8 lakhs. Similarly, you can go for the data scientist positions. So, so as per the Harvard Business Review article, so data scientist has been hailed as the sexiest job in the 21st century. So data scientists are those are expert in big data, artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning, etc. So the primary duty is to extract a valuable insight from a large data set that can be converted as a business value. So skill required for this purpose, same as machine learning engineers. So we have to know properly the mathematics, statistic, programming language. Also, we have to know the some the data mining technique or soft computing technique in order to and also some statistical technique in order to solve some problems. So the platform like big data platform like Hadoop, uh, Peak, Hive, Spark, Boom, etc., has been used by the industry. So the average salary package for data scientists in US is nearly 1.52 lakhs per year and the average salary package for data scientists in India nearly 8 lakh per annum. So other machine learning career like natural language processing scientist, software developer or engineer, artificial intelligence and machine learning and human centered machine learning designer, etc. So future of AI and machine learning techniques. So AI driven machine are even predicted to perform better than the human from a driving car, automated driving car basically by 2027 and writing a best selling book by 2049 to performing a surgery by 2053. So now you can imagine the next three decade is going to be the AI and machine learning field. And is application in the biology also has been increasing. So I would like to introduce some of the researcher in my field, especially from the Kolkata. So first name came into my mind is uh, Professor Shangamitra Bandhapadhyay. Uh, she is currently serving as a director of Indian Statistical Institute, Kolkata. He is from computer science background, but he is applied computer science or machine learning technique in order to solve the problem in biology. He received a lot of uh, prestigious prize like a Santi Saru Bhatnagar Infosys Prize. So Infosys Prize is like a Nobel in India. So he received that type of prize. A prize. And her citation reads around 18,000 and age index is 56. So based on the citation and age, age index, we can uh, we can we can conclude that this scientist is good or not. So this is the first uh, type of conclusion. So another scientist name, another professor Ujjal Mollik. Currently he is serving as a professor in the at the Department of Computer Science and Engineering in Jadavpur University. He also from the computer science background. He also used his computer. Uh, computational technique in the field of biology and published a lot of good paper. His citation also reached around 50,000, 15,000. Okay, and age index is 51. So another scientist name, Dr. Shantosokus Das, he is my boss in my institute. So he is especially from the doctor, MD and completed MD in medicines. After that, he started practicing so after that he found that it is not interesting so he came to the research field in order to do some good research in the uh, in the molecular immunologist or bioinformatics field so currently he is serving as a scientist step in my institute and also the director in charge in icmr national institute of occupational health ahmedabad and Last but not the least, uh, Dr. Uh, Professor Onirban Mukhopadhyay. So he is my guide uh, through my MTech and also PhD. Also, he currently serving as a professor and HOD of Department of Computer Science and Engineering in University of Kalani. So I came into this field because of him because uh, he uh, I have seen as a very good person and he is very talented person 
rank uh, position in 28th in madhyamik and 12th in the hs and after that he completed btech from nit durgapur previously known as the regional college of something like that and he also completed mtech uh, uh, with a gold medalist from jadavpur university and uh, phd also from the same institute so he <clears throat> he also uh, he uh, his citation also is around 4152 so among them three of my phd guide uh, professor ujjal mollik dr shantosh gusdas and onirban mukhopadhyay so they are doing some good work in my field so they that's why i have introduced them so now it is a question answer round so you can ask me a question in bengali also and you can ask question about the machine learning or career anything hello sir uh, uh, question that uh, what is the future hello 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 sir i am yes. dr chandra from it department okay hello sir tell me uh, i am dr prabhu chandra from it department okay uh, uh, sir i have a question that what is the future of cloud technology in our day to day life just like ai and machine learning yeah recently cloud technology basically the infrastructure suppose uh, suppose you start uh, want to start some business okay but the business need some infrastructure the hardware infrastructure as well software infrastructure to develop so in this case so if you can buy some total hardware or software so it will cost more more cost more so in this case you can go for the cloud computing so they will provide you infrastructure as well as software for processing your business business so in this case cloud computing nowadays gaining popularity so most of the uh, company they are go through the cloud because they are not they are not ready to take a responsibility of the hardware software all of the things they will pay pay for what they use so this concept is going on right now in the, this is this concept from 2010 it will be increasing nowadays it will in the peak okay so so in the base of the so if you can use the cloud computing technique so if you can find a data so you can integrate machine learning technique in your business also in order to predict some scenario based on your business interest okay okay sir sir can uh, cloud technology be used in robotics also just like ai and machine learning is used robotic uh, i don't think but uh, in robotic basically we have to uh, implement hardware and software for the robotic purpose so cloud computing maybe you can use based on the some information cloud the robot will fetch we can uh, deposit this data in the cloud for the previous yeah. purpose so we can use that one also that type of uh, use okay can you hello any question from students hello hello any question okay no question i think so ऑल्सो मैं कि 
সবকিছু ডিপেন্ড করছে তোমাদের উপরেই মানে তোমরা কি করতে চাও সেটা তুমি ভালো জানো তোমার জাজমেন্ট হচ্ছে তুমি বুঝতে পারবে যে আমি মানে হায়ার স্টাডি করলে ভালো করবো না আমি ইন্ডাস্ট্রিতে গেলে ভালো করবো তো সেটা বেসিক্যালি তোমাকেই মেনলি ডিসিশনটা নিতে হবে তবে এটা ঠিক যে আমি মানে আমার পার্সোনাল লাইফ থেকে ফিল্ড থেকে আমি বলতে পারি যে এমটেক করার থেকে যদি পারো এমএস ইউএস এ তে গিয়ে এমএস করতে যদি পারো যদি সেটা পসিবল হয় তো সেটা করাটা বেটার মানে ওখানে তাহলে এমএস করলে কি হবে পরে তুমি রিসার্চ ফিল্ডেও যেতে পারবে अदरवाइज তুমি একটা নতুন কোম্পানি খোলা করলে সেটাও ভাবতে পারবে কারণ ওখানে খুব মানে হায়ার স্টাডিটা খুব কস্টলি তো সবাই ওখানে সিরিয়াসলি পড়াশোনা করে তো সেই ক্ষেত্রে এমএস মানে আমার পক্ষে এমএস ভালো অপশন আছে মানে আমি যদি হ্যাঁ মাস্টার অফ সায়েন্স যেটা বলছেন তাই তো হ্যাঁ মাস্টার অফ সায়েন্স হ্যাঁ এটা খুবই ভালো মানে হ্যাঁ এটা এটা খুব ভালো হলো মানে কালকে আপনি জয়েন করেছিলেন আমি জানতাম না বুঝতে পারিনি জানা আমি 10 মিনিটের জন্য জয়েন করেছিলাম যে কি চলছে সেটা জানার জন্য তো বাসবদা তো মানে অনেক দিনের এক্সপেরিয়েন্স উনি তো যা দেখলাম মানে ভালোই বলেছেন উনি আমি একটা জিনিস বলবো মানে আর সবকিছু উনি তো আপনার সিনিয়র মনে হয় অনেক সিনিয়র মানে আমরা তো 2000 মানে আপনার তো আলাপ আছে আপনাদের মধ্যে না আলাপ নেই আমি জাস্ট মানে নামটা শুনেছি যে বাসবদা খুব কলেজে জন অনেক কিছু করে মানে বিভিন্ন ফ্রেন্ডের কাছে শুনেছি আচ্ছা আচ্ছা হ্যালো রঞ্জু আমাদের যে ট্রেনিং প্লেসমেন্ট যে কমিটি আছে আমাদের সাটারডে করে যে মিটিং হয় 15 ডেজ আফটার সেখানে মাসবদা আমাদের জয়েন করেন এবং আমরা অনেক কিছু শেয়ার দিই আমাদের অনেক আলাপ হ্যাঁ দেখেছি তো হ্যাঁ বিশ্বরূপ বিশ্বরূপ আমি শুভদীপ হ্যাঁ বিশ্বরূপ শুভদীপ আছে আমাদের ডিএনএ বোর মধ্যে হ্যাঁ মানে আমি যেটা বলার মানে সেটাই আছে উইল মিট ভেরি সুন সেই জন্য বলেছি উইল মিট ভেরি সুন ওকে ওকে হ্যাঁ মানে যেটা হচ্ছে মানে বিটেক এর সময় আমরা নিজেরা আমি বিশেষ করে মানে আমি দেখতাম আমার কিছু বন্ধু ছিল আমি যেহেতু গ্রাম থেকে এসেছিলাম তো আমার কিছু বন্ধু ছিল যারা বেসিক্যালি মফরসল বা কলকাতার ছেলে তারা দেখলাম পুরো প্ল্যান ছিল যে প্ল্যান এ আমি এটা করব প্ল্যান বি এটা বা সি ডি এরকম ওদের কাছে চারটে প্ল্যান রেডি ছিল আমার ক্ষেত্রে কি আমি চলে আসছি যা পাবো কলেজে ক্যাম্পাসিং এর সময় আমাদের সময় তো আমার ক্যাম্পাসিং হলো না তো এমটেক পেলাম এমটেক এ জয়েন করে গেলাম তো সেইভাবে এমটেক করতে গিয়ে তো আমার স্যার ভালো ছিল তো দেখে বেশ আমি বললাম স্যার যদি করতে পারেন এরকম স্টুডিওস হয়ে রিসার্চ তো আমিও করতে পারি তো ইন্সপায়ার হয়ে এরকম আছে বাট তবে আমি বলবো সবার ডিসিশন নিজের মতো না তোমার কি মোটিভেশন আছে বা কি করার ইচ্ছে আছে কারণ আমি দেখেছি এরকম কিছু ট্রেনিং আমার কাছে এসেছিল তো ওরা বিটস পিলা নিতে পড়ে তো ছেলেটা মেডিকেলেও র্যাঙ্ক করেছিল দুশো বাইশ আর ইঞ্জিনিয়ারিং এও আইআইটি গুলো পায়নি কিন্তু ও বিটস পিলা নিতে কম্পিউটার সায়েন্স নিয়ে পড়েছে ওর বাবা মা দুজন হচ্ছে ডক্টর বাট ওর ইন্টারেস্ট হচ্ছে মেশিন মানে এই রকম মেশিন লার্নিং এর রিসার্চ করে মেডিকেল ফিল্ডটাকে ইমপ্রুভ করা তো এখন খুব ভালো কাজ করছে তো এরকম প্রচুর লোক আছে বেসিক্যালি কম্পিউটার সায়েন্স ফিজিক্স আর কেমিস্ট্রি ব্যাকগ্রাউন্ড থেকে এসে বায়োলজিতে বিশাল কাজ করছে এবং বায়োলজির ফিল্ডটাই এখন মানে নেক্সট মানে 30 40 ইয়ার্স গোইং টু দা বায়োলজিক্যাল ফিল্ড অ্যাপ্লিকেশন অফ মেশিন লার্নিং ইন দা বায়োলজিক্যাল ফিল্ড তো আর একটা জিনিস আমি মনে করি মানে আমি দেখেছি কিছু স্টুডেন্ট ছিল যারা সাউথ কলকাতা কালকে বাসবদাও বলছিল যে সাউথ কলকাতার ছেলেরা হচ্ছে খুব স্মার্ট সত্যি স্মার্ট কারণ আমি দেখেছি ওদের ক্ষেত্রে ওরা মানে আমরা কি হতাম আমরা কি এমটেক গেট পেয়েছি এমটেক করে নিলাম ওরা বেসিক্যালি কি করতো জব করতো দু তিন বছর জব করে কি করতো কিছু টাকা জমাতো আর বা ওদের ফ্যামিলি ব্যাকগ্রাউন্ড মোটামুটি ভালো থাকতো ওরা কিছু টাকা লোন ফোন নিয়ে এমএস করতে চলে যেত তো এমএস করতে গিয়ে ওরা মোটামুটি তারপরে খুব ভালো জবই পেত এবং জবে দু তিন বছরের মধ্যে ওরা এমএস এর যে লোনটা সেটা শোধ করে দিতে পারতো তো ইউনিভার্সিটি ইন্ডিয়াতে সবাই যেটা ডিমোরালাইজ করে
স্টুডেন্ট হচ্ছে ইউ আর দা বেস্ট জাজ এটুকু মাথায় রাখো অনেকে অনেকে আবার কলকাতার ডাল ভাত ছাড়া যেতে চায় না মানে সেটাও হয় অনেক ক্ষেত্রে সেটাও দেখি মাঝেমধ্যে ওইটা সবার প্রায়োরিটি আছে কোনটাতে হ্যাপি সেটাতে উপরই ডিপেন্ড করে এই আর কি সবকিছু এই আর কি কান বাবু এখন কি আমাদের লাঞ্চ ব্রেক তো হবে হ্যাঁ এখন লাঞ্চ ব্রেক হবে আর স্যার ক্যান আই আস্ক এ क्वेश्चन আই ইয়েস ইস হু ইজ ইট I am Roshni Mitra from uh, Computer Science Engineering Department. Okay. Yes, please go on. Tell. Sir, as you said that if we have a chance, we should do uh, like we can do MS from abroad. So, uh, okay. in my opinion, like should we do MS up after BTEC or should we do MTEC after BTEC if I have the chance to go abroad? I think, uh, for my point of view, uh, first of all, you don't call me sir. I am a senior of you. Just call me Dada. and uh, for uh, for my point of view ms is better rather than mtech like, can you can tell me the reason reason because i have found most of my friend who have completed ms from uss they have landed a lot of good job and they their life is very easy over there so and they can think about some building <laughs> some new company for a, but after M, mtech you have uh, you cannot build some new company for here but you can do that but most of the most of the people are, are very scary about to open some new company or like that because we already most of the bengali people especially i have seen that they have very happy with their job and the salary that type of people so i have seen some of the people from gujarat and the karnataka and mumbai so they are very interested to developing some company or startup like this बोल তারপর আপনি এমএস করেছেন না না আমি এমএস করি নি আমি এমএস করি নি আমি বলছি এমএস করাটা বেটার মানে আমি আমার থট থেকে বলছি এবার সেটা জিজি এবার নেবার কি না আমি এমএস করি নি বাট আমি দেখেছি কিছু বন্ধু বা আমার চেনা পরিচিত কিছু জন এমএস করেছে মানে তারা খুব ভালো কোম্পানিতেও আছে ভালো মানে সবথেকে এমএস করার যে পজিটিভ পয়েন্ট মানে তুমি ওখান থেকে কোম্পানি খোলার কথা ভাবতে পারো যেটা হচ্ছে সবথেকে মানে আমি যেটা লাইক করি এটা অনেকে হয়তো কোম্পানি খোলাটাকে পছন্দ করে না বা হয়তো মানে একটা সিম্পল লাইফ মানে রিস্ক না নেওয়া আর একটা প্রবলেম থাকে বাট আমার মনে হয় মানে করা উচিত আর কি তো আমি তো এমটেক করেছি কম্পিউটার সায়েন্সে তারপরে আমি সফটওয়্যারে জব করতাম তো সফটওয়্যারে আমি সার্ভিস সার্ভিস বেস কোম্পানিতে জব করতাম তো সেখানে আমার খুব একটা ভালো লাগেনি তো সে তারপরে আমি রিসার্চ এটা চলে এসেছি রিসার্চ লাই ঠিক আছে আর স্যার আপনার কাছে এনি ট্রেনি যে এসেছিল যা বললেন যে মেডিকেলে বিটস পেলানে হ্যাঁ হ্যাঁ বিটস পেলানে प्रचुर <laughs> हेलो মাজুল হোসেন বলছি সিরামিক টেকনোলজি হ্যাঁ বলছি বলছি আমি যে সিরামিক টেকনোলজি বলছি যদি আমি এই মেশিন লার্নিং কিংবা সফটওয়্যার ব্যাপারটা ডেভেলপ করতে চাই তাহলে কিভাবে করে মানে পাশাপাশি তোমার ইন্টারেস্ট থাকতে হবে দেখো না এখন শিক্ষা ব্যবস্থাটা এমন হয়ে গেছে তুমি যদি ইন্টারেস্ট থাকে তুমি চাইলে নাশাতেও জব করতে পারো ঠিক আছে মানে এখন এত তোমার ওপেন সোর্স কোর্স হয়ে গেছে তুমি অনলাইন অনেক কিছু কোর্স করতে পারো ঠিক আছে আমি তো এরকম লোককে দেখেছি যারা ধরো বায়োলজিক্যাল ব্যাকগ্রাউন্ড তারা কোডিং কোডিং শিখে এখন মোটামুটি খুব ভালো লাইফে আছে ইউএসএ তে 
ঠিক আছে ওরা এখন কোডিং করে যায় ঠিক আছে ডেভেলপমেন্ট কোডিং করে তেমনি আমি আপনার মানে তোমাদের সেরামিক লাইনে আমি মানে যেটা আমি শুনেছি এটা শিওর নয় মানে এ কেবি স্যার ছিলেন উনি দু তিনটে স্টুডেন্ট কে এরকম বলেছিলেন যে তোমরা এই মেশিন লার্নিং বা এইসব ইউজ করে পরে ফিউচারে রিসার্চ এ ইউজ করতে পারো তো তাদের মধ্যে দু তিনটে স্টুডেন্ট মানে ইউএস এ তে এখন খুব ভালো মানে রিসার্চের কাজ করছে এই মেশিন লার্নিং দিয়ে তোমাদের প্রবলেম সলভ করার জন্য আমি আমি একটু এক্সপেরিয়েন্স শেয়ার করছি যে যারা সিরামিকের তাদেরও কিন্তু অনেক স্টুডেন্ট আমরা দেখেছি হ্যাঁ যে যারা একদম সেকেন্ড ইয়ার বা সরি ফার্স্ট ইয়ার সেকেন্ড ফার্স্ট ইয়ার থেকে তারা বেস কোডিং এর উপরে মানে এক্সপোজ হয় সুতরাং সেই নিয়ে ডোন্ট টরি তাতে কিন্তু তোমরা অনেকেই আছে যারা হ্যাঁ ভালো করতে এবং পরে কিন্তু ভালো কোম্পানিতে যাই আর কারো কিছু বলার আছে এনিবডি এলস এনিবডি এলস প্লিজ তোমরা জিজ্ঞেস করতে পারো রঞ্জন বাবু কে কারো যদি জানার থাকে কিছু মানে উনি যেটা বলছেন যে এটা হচ্ছে তোমাদের ইচ্ছের উপর ডিপেন্ড করছে তোমরা কি করতে চাও আর উনি ওনার পার্সোনাল ফিলিং যেটা বললেন যে সুশোভন বলছো হ্যালো যদি কারো কোশ্চেন না থাকে তাহলে আমি আজকে এই সেশনটা এখানে এন্ড করছি হ্যালো এনিবডি এলস হ্যালো রঞ্জন বাবু আপনার লেকচারটা খুবই ভালো হয়েছে খুব ভালো লাগলো শুনে আচ্ছা থ্যাঙ্ক ইউ স্যার থ্যাঙ্ক ইউ ফর অল দা ইনফরমেশন মানে আমারও অনেক কিছু জানা হলো এর থেকে হ্যাঁ হ্যাঁ আমার एक्चुअली মানে ওই আর কি আমিও মানে এটা নিলাম যে দেখি মানে সবাই তো এই ফিলটা জানে না যে মেশিন লার্নিং না 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 আর মেশিন লার্নিং নিয়ে কথা হয় কিন্তু বায়োলজির উপরে যে এত কাজ হয় সেটা মানে আমি শুনেছিলাম কিন্তু কোনদিন মানে এত ডিটেইলসে শুনিনি হুম হুম কথা 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 শুনেছি হ্যাঁ আমার তো প্রেডিকশন অনুযায়ী মানে নেক্সট 30 বছর মানে এই মানে মেশিন লার্নিং এর বায়োলজিক্যাল ফিল্ডেই বেশি কারণ হ্যাঁ 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 চাপও আছে বাট করছে সবাই তো বিশাল কাজ করছে মানে আমার এক পরিচিত উনি বোটানি নিয়ে পড়ান আমি ওনাকেও দেখেছি এটা খুবই বেশ ডিফিকাল্ট সাইন্স এন্ড ইট রিকোয়ারস লট অফ ডেটা হুম 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 ইউ হ্যাভ টু লট অফ ডেটা মানে এখন তো মানে এটা হয়েছে যে মানে আমরা বিগ ডেটার যে ডোমেনে আমাদের যে হিউম্যান জিনোমিক্স ডেটা যেটা মানে আমাদের হিউম্যান জিনোমের হোল জিনোমের ডেটা তো এক একটাই হবে হিউম্যান জিনোমের হোল জিনোম 3.2 বিলিয়ন বেস পেয়ার মানে এত জিবি ডেটা থাকে তো ওটাকে প্রসেস করতে গেলে সেটা হয়ে যায় মানে আমি নিজে কাজ করেছি कैंसारस्टलि छाख ट 
বা ইন্ডিয়ার লোক ম্যাক্সিমাম ওই 10000 20000 ক্যান্সারের জন্য দিতে পারে টেস্টের জন্য তো সেই ক্ষেত্রে আমরা কি করি জিন প্যানেল মানে কিছু পার্টিকুলার জিন প্যানেল নিয়ে করি তো সেখানের মধ্যে যদি কোনো মিউটেশন পেলাম তো সেই রেসপেক্টে মানে پیشنটকে ট্রিট করা হয় কিন্তু তাতে কি অনেক কিছু মিসিং যায় তো বাইরের দেশে এগুলো তো ওদের তো যেহেতু ডলার ইউরো আছে তো ওদের ক্ষেত্রে এই সমস্যাটা এখনো হয়নি তো ওরা বেশি এটা আস্তে 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 এটা ডেভেলপ করে যাবে আমাদের দেশও এটা ডেভেলপ করবে এখন তো ন্যাশন স্টেজে আছে अच्छा Likcha, I am from city department. Shushan okay. Rai, I am from CC department, and I have interesting in learning coding and establishing okay. a company on okay. my own based. How should I do that? Oh, it's a dal. So, my jodi coding er interest thake, potho me aage coding gulo shikho. Ebar coding er kethle, tumi dekho na ekte language jodi shikho, potho me tumi college jodi nishchay C pora de. Amra potho me C thekei shuru kore chila. তো সি সি এর পরে জাভা এই সব মানে কোন একটা ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ শিখলে তোমার অন্য কোন ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ শিখতে অসুবিধা হবে না তো আমার যেরকম সি আমি সি জাভা প্রথমে কলেজে পড়েছি জাভাতে আমি অতটা ভালো করতে পারতাম না শিখে করতাম তারপরে আমি যখন রিসার্চ ফিল্ডে এসেছি ফার্স্ট টাইম আমি ম্যাথলা ইউজ করতাম তারপরে আমি এখন প্রোগ্রামিং ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ পাইথন আর ইউজ করি এখন যেহেতু পাইথন আর চলছে তো আমি যেহেতু আগে আমার ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজের বেসিসটা ছিল তো যে কোনো ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ আমি করতে পারি আর প্রোগ্রামিং খুব ইন্টারেস্টিং যদিও মানে মেশিন লার্নিং এখন এমন একটা জায়গা ডেভেলপ হচ্ছে যে কিছুদিন পরে হয়তো কোডিং ও মেশিন লার্নিং অটোমেটেড হয়ে যাবে মানে এরকম হচ্ছে বাট সেটা হয়তো অনেক দেরি আছে বাট স্টিল মানে কোডিং যদি তুমি শেখো নিজের ইন্টারেস্টিং আর কি গেমের মতো তুমি একটা কোড লিখলে তার আউটপুট পেলে তার এই পেলে মানে খুব এক্সাইটিং কোডিং ওর আরেকটা কোশ্চেন আছে ডু আই हैव टू ডু মাই এমএস फ्रॉम ইউএস অনলি Where will I get the most freedom to do so? Hey, this is the best case. I mean, I told you, best case, if you MS, you have to have your financial background, your motivation. Because MS, you have to be serious. Because you have to have your loan. You have to have your MS. You have to have your MS. You have to have your MS. No, no. Our question is, what is MS? Do you have to have your MS? जा मुश्किल मुखे सुने बोडी actually a core genius ta ki mane what you are supposed to learn or what you will be going to learn she gulo kintu tumra ekhono kichu jano na first you join you finish your first first sem second sem then when you go to third sem you will be under your department mane jara tomar csc te ache tara kalpana madam mane uni jekhon meeting e achen onar under e chole jabe tar pore jara tomar it te ache তারা চলে যাবেন মৌসুমি ম্যাডামের আন্ডারে যারা সিটিতে আছে তারা চলে যাবেন তোমার ইয়ে কি বলে প্রফেসর সেনের আন্ডারে ঋতুপর্ণ সেনের আন্ডারে এবং নাও দেন ইউ ক্যান কনসাল্ট देम देयर আর লট অফ अदर টিচারস देयर আর লট অফ अदर फ्रेंड्स ইউ ক্যান কনসাল্ট देम আস্তে আস্তে তুমি চ্যানেলাইজ করো মানে তুমি এক্ষুনি যদি ভাবো মানে আমি এক্ষুনি যদি ভাবি আমি এখন 
ভাবলাম যে চাঁদে যাওয়া রকেট যে আছে চাঁদে যাবো আমি চাঁদে যাবো আমি কিন্তু পারবো না যেতে चाह प्रब्लेम এবং প্রত্যেকটা ডিপার্টমেন্টে অনেক টিচার আছি আমরা হ্যাঁ তোমরা কনসাল্ট করবে হ্যাঁ তোমাদের কোনো অসুবিধা হবে না আশা করছি কোনো ডিপার্টমেন্ট থেকে হ্যাঁ আচ্ছা দিশা বক্সি একটা क्वेश्चन করেছে সেটা কিন্তু খুব পার্টিনেন্ট क्वेश्चन স্যার ক্যান আই ডু এমবি আফটার বিটেক অর অর এলস এমটেক ইজ नीडेड দেখো এটা হচ্ছে আপ টু ইউ এমবি এস এমবি ইউ ক্যান ডু এমবি আফটার এনি ডিগ্রি কোর্স তুমি ইঞ্জিনিয়ারিং পড়ে এমবিএ করতে পারো তুমি জেনারেল লাইনে পড়ে এমবিএ করতে পারো ইনফ্যাক্ট তুমি ডাক্তারি পড়েও এমবিএ করতে পারো বুঝতে পারছো এমবিএ যে কেউ করতে পারে অনলি থিং থিং ইজ দ্যাট ইউ नीड এ হোয়াট ইউ কল গ্রাজুয়েশন ক্যাট ক্যাট গ্রাজুয়েশনটা কই যাবে বা তোমাকে বিবিএ করে তারপর এমবিএ তে যেতে হবে ক্যাট ইউ উইল বি এন্টারটেইল ফর দ্য এমবিএ অ্যাডমিশন এমবিএ অ্যাডমিশন এ তুমি ভর্তি হতে হবে कैट बाद दीते हैं तार पर तुम्हें ज्वाइन करते बोलो तो वन तुम्हें स्विच ओवर करते बोलो ऑनलाइन है तो वधर यही तो चीज़ है कि बोले आमदे जे बासो बंद बाद दाई जिनी लेक्चर दिलेन एक्सेलरेटर एक्सेलरेटर के एमबीए कोड़े से हाँ उन्हीं तो एक्सेलरेटर के एमबीए कोड़े से ना आर उन्हीं चीले� मैडम पढ़ाशुना रंजन बाबू बंद कर दिन अपनार ही असुविधा रेकर्डिंग कर তুমি বলছো বন্ধ করে দাও হ্যাঁ হ্যাঁ ওকে ওকে थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू सुप्रियो एंड हां थैंक यू थैंक यू अच्छा नेक्स्ट सेशन टाइम नेक्स्ट सेशन टाइम কিন্তু 